If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. 1 Corinthians 3.17 How holy should the temple of the Spirit be? Reader, are you a temple of the Holy Spirit? Then dedicate yourself unreservedly to God. You are not your own, your body, your spirit, your family, substance, time, talents, influence, all, all belong to God. He dwells in you, walks in you, rules in you, and calls you his dwelling place. Know you are not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you? Then what a separation should there be between you and the world that lies in wickedness? How should you guard against every unnecessary entanglement with it? How cautious and prayerful, lest by contradicting an unholy alliance with it in any form or degree, you should defile the temple of God. Which temple are you? Oh, what heavenly wisdom and holy circumspection and ceaseless prayer do you need that you might walk with unspotted garments, that no rival should enter your heart, that no lofty views of self, no spirit of worldly conformity, no temporizing policy, no known sin, no creature idolatry should enter there, that like the heavenly temple, nothing that defiles, neither whatever works abomination, should be cherished or entertained in the abode and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. For what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Reader, whose temple are you? Solemn question. Does God or Satan dwell in you, Christ or Belial, lightness or darkness? Either the one or the other has, at this moment, entire possession. You cannot serve two contrary masters. You cannot entertain two opposite guests. You are living either for God or for Satan. You are traveling either to heaven or to hell. Which, on your bended knees before God, decide. And may the Lord the Spirit renew you by His grace. And if renewed, make you a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and met for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work.